guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute but that doesn't mean I don't have a lot of stuff to show you. Today's video is going to be probably one of the longest videos I've ever uploaded on this channel and that's pretty much my fault for not uploading. I've now got to do it all in one go. So we've got men's clothes, women's clothes, shoes, books, makeup, teddies, some random stuff. So I'm just going to Split it up into sections, I don't know what I'm going to do first, whatever I think is easiest. And uh, yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. you got to remember, all of this stuff comes from either a charity shop or a car boot sale, meaning I did not pay a lot for these items. Usually I stick to a £3 and less budget. I think there's not anything here that's above that unless it's for personal, like, unless we're going to keep it. Because most of this stuff does get listed on my Depop shop. I did get this top from a charity shop. For a pound, it's kind of cropped. I can't be bothered to stand up right now, but you can kind of see the colours. It's really cute, but yeah, let's get into it. I think the easiest thing for me to start with would be like the makeup beauty related items as they're so small. It's possible that I may forget to do them. So, starting off, I've got two little bleach hair dyes. Now, usually in here you get one and like a little furry scrunchie, but in here you've got the washed up mermaid and the rose colour. I'm always doing things with my hair. I don't know what is going on with it at the minute. As you can see, my roots are growing through. So having little things like this is always useful for me. Or, you know, it makes a really cute little gift if you've got a friend who likes dyeing their hair. Then I picked up this Body Shop Drops of Light. I believe this is full. It doesn't, like, seem like there's any less in there than there should be. I've never used this before, you know me. I do like my body shop stuff, but I do not have this. So buying stuff brand new is great. I'm pretty sure I paid a pound for that. Off the same lady, I got this Nip and Fab Skin Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. Now this has the box. She did say that she's tried it, but she uh, lost the lid. So there's pretty, there's still like, a lot of product left in here it smells really good and uh, it's like clear I don't know if you can see that but yeah it smells really 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 good and I need to up my skincare game I've been like really stressed out lately hence the uh, intruders on my face you know so another item I got is in its box as well I like finding box things and this is actually brand new this is the soap and glory instant radiance energy boost balm and it comes in like a little squeezy bottle. When I saw this, I was like, how old is this? I have no idea how old this is, but it's really cute. And then I went to see if it was open and it is not. So I'm not gonna open it. If I find something for brand new, I'm not gonna mess with that. Most of these things that I do test have been opened, so I don't mind. I also got this Gaultier Lillet, and this is just a like perfumed body lotion, but I really, really, like the bottle I don't know how old this is but it's like squeezy and oh I didn't realize there was some there but yeah it's just like a nice fragranced body lotion with a cool bottle I'm getting very moisturized today <laughs> so I did find a, another body shop item this cost me a pound and it's one of their sparkler puffs I do not have this shade I do have another one somewhere up on those shelves there but I did not have this one this is the more golden color and as you can see it was only a pound and I'm pretty sure these are like quite expensive from body shops so getting these cheap is great I haven't found very many vintage makeup finds lately I have three compacts here this one being my favorite one as it is the only m like metal one and it's a Stratton one and I'm pretty sure it is brand new and we have some other random puff in here as well. But the design on this is just so, so cute. I got an empty CoverGirl compact. Why? I don't know. It has a mirror in the top. And then this very, very, very soft puff. Now, she wanted a whole pound for this. But bearing in mind, the same woman sold me this one. So this is Guerlain, Guerlain Paris vintage compact as well but this has a mirror and has a full pan of some sort of bronzy like shade in there and she charged me 20p for this bearing in mind this is a full product in great condition and then she wanted a whole pound for this i was like 
no. So I'm pretty sure I got that for 50p. I still had to pay more for the one that had nothing in it, but I got it. And then the last two things aren't really makeup or beauty. This is a earring holder, so it's just like a green velvet with a gold trim. And then little earring holes to pop your earrings in. I just thought it was a really cute way of displaying and keeping your earrings. Me, I really, really love earrings. I also got these from Akabu. I don't know if you can see them. They're silver, actual silver, and like a mother of pearl sort of stone. They're really, really cute. But I need to put all of my other ones in here because I do have a lot of pairs of earrings. It's something I really do like. And then for 20p, I picked up this little birch box container storage thing. I just thought it was really cute. I think the pattern is just like so quirky and it just like slides out. I don't know if this was supposed to be in here, but it's just like a little sponge. So I figured I could keep, you know, some stuff in there. It's cute. 20p. Eh, why not? There's some other really small items that I just want to show quickly as well before I forget them because they probably will disappear. So I got two vintage Guinness key rings. These are actually like really, really cute. I don't know why I always get like promotional product stuff. It's, it's always alcohol related as well. But yeah, I think these are super sweet. And then I got these very, very, very tiny circle glasses. Now, when I say very tiny, I mean very tiny they're bending as you can see i don't want to bend them too much but i have a feeling these are for kids because they're uh, very very small but if you have a small head or maybe a dog with a fairly big head you could like jazz them up definitely with these glasses i love these these are so like these were super cheap i'm pretty sure they were like 10 or 20p but i was like yeah I'll have them thanks. So as I said at the beginning of the video, most of this stuff that I'm going to be showing you is to go on sale on Depop, but it seems all of the shoes bar one pair are to keep. So most of these, I think all of them actually, oh no, all of them apart from one came from a car boot sale. So I got these red kickers in my size, most of these are for me, but yeah, I got these kickers, they're actually in really good condition, they just need a bit of a clean and a bit of a shape up but they're super super cute and they're only two pound and I don't mind it when I'm only paying like you know a pound 50p a shoe for my shoes so these great always need new boots especially now it's getting kind of colder I got Bobby Ugh. these Doc Martens I wanted him to have some nice shoes for work and these are only a couple of pound two as you can see, there's a bit of wear on the soles already, but who cares, they're very heavy duty. I got a lot of trainers, and I'm not gonna lie, I love my trainers. These are possibly my favorite ones that I've bought so far. These are my Puma Suede's S. Don't know what the S stands for, maybe it's the stripe, but these are super cute. Best part was, they're only a pound, and as you can see by the tread, they're pretty much brand new. And I wear them every day for work now. They're like my favorite shoe. So a pound for these, you know, works out 50p each. Love it. Same car boot, same deal. These ones haven't been cleaned up yet. I know they look a bit gross, but these were also a pound, 50p a shoe for some Nike blazers, not gonna lie. Great deal. The, um, what's it called? The swoosh and the back part here is a like reflective material, I don't know you're gonna be able to see that but I just thought that was like really cool like I haven't seen any Nikes with reflective material on to be honest the color yeah mustard yellow not the best but I seem to be drawn to it because the very next car boot I went to I got these <laughs> mustard yellow shoes so this style of shoe seems to be very popular with me these ones were two pounds so a pound a shoe they're not in the best condition because obviously they have the sponge tongues and they're a bit tatty but other than that they're in really like good nick the soles seem to have all the tread oh there's a little stone in that one but yeah two pound for them and then possibly the cheaper shoes i got and i can't seem to find the other one because i'm dumb is these heels so these are from asos they say asos shoes on them i couldn't find out what size they were i literally 
I literally looked everywhere when I was in there and now I'm looking at it, I can see it straight away. So I was checking up here, I was checking these straps, I was checking underneath and it turns out, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's in there. I didn't know that. So it turns out these are size 3, I am a size 5 so these are definitely not going to fit me. But they're pretty much brand new and they were only 50p so that's 25p per shoe. I don't know where the other shoe is, so so far we're 25p down, but <laughs> they're really cute, these came from a charity shop and yeah, you can't knock it, you know, brand new shoes, 25p each. If you came for the clothes, I promise you we are getting there, but I'm going to go through the stuff that isn't clothes first since there's not much of it. So I've got three books here, we've got the Minecraft Blockopedia and this was 10p, so you know, I thought this book is like got some immense effort gone into it. It's a very big, hefty book. 10p, this can come home with me. And then I got an encyclopedia of magical herbs. And I don't know why, but like they have all the different herbs when, from whenever this was made. And like here you've got mint and mistletoe and it just says like what it can be used for. Like mint has long been used in healing potions and mixtures. Ugh. Okay, you gotta rub the leaves against your head to relieve headaches. Or you wear it on your wrists to make sure you will not get ill. So guys, next time you're worried about getting ill, make a little bracelet out of mint leaves and you'll be fine. <laughs> and then the last book I got is this like big Skyrim guide. One of my favorite games ever and you know, I don't think I have this book. This one seems to go a lot more in depth into like the designs and I don't know exactly what it is, but it's beautiful for 50p. So I have like all of the guides possible and none of them are like this. I think this is literally just a book on like the designs and everything and it's stunning. Honestly, it's like really, oh, I love it. Got <laughs> it's Sonic's hair? I don't know if this is going to fit me and it's probably going to ruin my hair but um if you ever want to be Sonic you know I've got just the outfit oh my god I guarantee you I have not tried this on before but this is like actually perfect I think this is how I'm going to go to work today but yeah this was really cheap this was 50p and I think this has just become my new favourite thing <laughs> We got a dopey uh, plush teddy. This is a Disney Store exclusive. But he's really cute, really soft. It says dopey on his hat as well, in case anyone ever forgot who he was. And yeah, look, he's just like a little happy, happy little guy. The last thing that we got that's not clothing related is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium game board thing, you know? This is very confusing. We have never ever seen one of these before and it's just called the Millennium Game. This bit comes up and you have like some information on there. So it's literally a board game. You have four characters and you play with cards and you have to try and get the mille Millennium Puzzle. And yeah, it's crazy. Me and Bobby haven't yet played it, but there you go. You get pieces of the Millennium Puzzle. But we are going to try it out. Uh, it does look kind of crazy there. you got Yugi. Is that Yugi or the other one? I can't remember. And then you got your blue eyes dragon there. I can't wait. Honestly, it looks so fun. <laughs> now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the clothes. So I'm going to start off with the female clothes and then we'll move on to the male clothes. But first off, I want to show you this bum bag. So this is a Winnie the Pooh little bum bag. I don't know what everyone else calls them. In America I'm pretty sure they're called fanny packs. But it's just got a little embroidered Winnie the Pooh on it. It's very big and it is actually from the Disney World store. So, you know, genuine item. I loved it. It cost me, what, how much? £3.50! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wanted to keep this for myself and I'm pretty sure I will use it for like every car boot sale in the future I ever do. Then there was a 25p sale outside of one of the charity shops. This is where all of the stuff that's been in their shop for like, I think it's more than so many weeks goes out. 
But the only problem with this is they put it outside and I kid you not, it's notorious for like pigeons and seagulls pooping all over it. So I got this for 25p, just a patterned silk shirt. It's very light, very sweet. I love it. 25p as well. This one was a pound. I'm pretty sure it's women's. So on the front, it's not very like entertaining. It just says Bug Jam 21, Santa Pod, England. And then on this side, it's got this really cool like car and camper van design on the back. So I just thought that was like the redeeming factor for this top. It was only 50p. So I definitely couldn't leave it behind. It's too cute, basically. I never really go for like lingerie, underwear, undergarment sort of things in shops. So most of the times they kind of list these sort of bralette tops as lingerie. And especially when they're this cute and, you know, I can't just leave them. Especially since it's Topshop as well. I always always avoid Topshop because it's fairly expensive for me but when I can find cute Topshop items in a charity shop I'm gonna pick it up I'm pretty sure this is fairly cheap yeah $1.99 and it's so cute we've got a lot of t-shirts here I'm gonna try and just go through them as quick as I can since I know this video is gonna be long enough as it is so this is from Zara it's an MTV top with just some like quirky characters on it it's just black with this print. It's just really cute, you know. I didn't know Zara and MTV work together to bring out t-shirts, but hi-ho, it's cute. We've got a couple of super dry items here in my pile and the men's pile. This one is a brand new t-shirt with the tag. It says super dry vintage. It's just white with super dry written across there and has 54 there. So this tag said it was 22 99 when it was bought brand new I think we paid like a fiver or something for this whole bag of super dry stuff now I couldn't figure out whether this was men's or women's I thought it looked more like a women's top it's just quite lightweight but it could also be men's I personally really like it so it's got these sleeves the only thing I don't like here is that it's not printed it's like a hard fabric that is kind of cracked if you know what I mean so the rest of the shot the rest of the top is like super super soft and then you've got these like gross things here so that's probably the only thing that's put me off actually keeping that top got this very recently for a pound from the same place I got this top so this is just a women's little Reebok top very simple very plain but very cute it's the uh, simple cute things in life that make things great I think this is navy I'm pretty sure it's navy my eyes have trouble with dark navy and black, but I'm 100% sure now that this is navy. Like, this I was pretty shocked to see in a charity shop, and I'm gonna try and just, yeah, right. So this is a misguided dress, so it's white, it's one shoulder, and it has a little choker at the top, so that would go there, then that would go across like that. Now this has still got the misguided tags on it, and it was a pound. So this was originally up for a fiver, and then they were just like, no, put it down to a pound. So when I saw this on the rail, I don't even know if it's going to fit me. If it doesn't fit me, I'll sell it on. But yeah, for a pound, I couldn't leave it there. If you ever see brand new with tags items in a charity shop, for ridiculous cheap it's like always best to just grab them honestly so I did and then I got this coat which you know I don't usually buy stuff from Primark from charity shops because I know Primark is already fairly cheap but I got this coat because I really liked it so it's just like a khaki green no hood no fur for once and it's pretty lightweight but also at the same time quite thick and it keeps me warm and I like it so this was £4.50, a bit more than what I usually spend, but it was for myself, and it's a coat, so it's warranted. But now we get to move on to the men's clothes. Now it's this segment of the video that's going to really take it out of me, because there's more men's clothes than anything else. We seem to buy, like, just more men's, but to start off, I've got this very cute paisley print tie. 
So I don't know if you guys have noticed, I buy a lot of ties. As a female, I don't tend to wear ties. I can tie a tie. I used to have to wear a tie to school. But in my everyday life, I don't really tend to wear ties. But I just thought this pattern was super cute. It was only 50p, and it's one of the Tyrac collection. I don't know if anyone knows about Tyrac. I don't really know that much about it myself, but I have a Tyrac tie holder, and I have a variety of Tyrac ties. So I just kind of keep buying them. So I'm just going to go from like the top of this huge stack of clothes here. In no particular order, just going to grab stuff out. So what we got here... This is just a Levi's Batwing logo top, grey on grey. I like these, they're very simple, very cute, and this was only £1.75. What size is it? Ooh, it's a large. So we probably won't be holding on to that one because I'm a small. These, these are super cool. Uh, I can't figure out how to tie them up. But these are ooh, Bob Marley shorts. So, you can see him up here, it says Marley, and it's Billabong across Bob Marley. So you've got him there, and then up the top here. So these are just really cool, I love the colours, I love the pattern. Oh yeah, and you've got that patch there. I can't remember how much these were, where's the tag? So these are a pound. So, how crazy is that? How cool are these for a quid? Right? Oh, more shorts. Okay, so we've got a pair of super dry swim shorts here. I don't think these were part of the t-shirt bundle, but these are really cute. They're very, like, heavy duty. I don't know if you can see how thick these lace bits are, but these were a pound as well. I don't know what it is with them selling off shorts for a pound, but, you know, it works in my favour. I know we have more shorts to come, but I'm going to start with this. So this is a long sleeve Ralph Lauren polo top. So there is the little logo. There is the tags. And it's just like a muted grey colour. It kind of looks like it's faded, but it's not. It's actually in like really good condition. Tag isn't on it, so I can't tell you how much appeared for that one. What we got here. Oh, so these are some North Face shorts as well. I'm just going to do the uh, flies up on these so you can see them a bit better. But yeah, lots of shorts, very cheap. I'm pretty sure these were a pound also. North Face, you know, there's a shop in my town that actually sells North Face stuff, but I don't think they have any of these shorts in at the minute, so these were a good find. We've got a big shirt here. I hate it when the items are bigger than me because I have to like stretch out, but as you can see, we've got a very big, very bright, lovely striped top from Ralph Lauren. Again, so this is the Blair XXXL shirt and it's very bright. I love it. I love the stripes. I love the pattern. You got your little pony man right there and this was more expensive. This was $3.99 but for shirts like this, you know, I think it's worth it. You could wear that super, super oversized, or you know, you could turn it into a DIY project, which is what I like doing with a lot of my charity shop finds. Now, this is a brand that isn't exactly a great brand, but they seem to have some really nice older pieces. So this is Giorgio, and this just says Giorgio jeans, and you know, has the C, well, C, has the J, and the G there, and this is just a very soft, big, like, sweater. I really like it. It was only $1.99 and I think Giorgio jumpers are like my favourite thing to find because they are so soft and comfortable. They're probably like my favourite jumpers to wear. So here we have a, I think it's Russell, yeah, Russell t-shirt, Russell Athletic. It has a little badge on the bottom here and this was only a pound. I just like the really bold colours. You've got the blue, you've got the red. And you've got the white, a little bit patriotic there, but got that. When things are a pound, there's literally no harm in getting them, especially stuff like this. So these are some more shorts. These are brand new Nike SB shorts with the tags on them. It says dry fit on the side there. And you've got the Nike SB tag there. These are really cute. They're really big though. And again, only a pound. 
got some t-shirts now lots and lots of t-shirts so this was 50p this is just a blue Nike top with a football with the Nike like tick swoosh on it very big but again oversized I like it so that was 50p then we've got a TT races top here so I don't know if you know about the Isle of Man but they do TT races which is like motorcycle races I'd love to actually go to one they seem so cool and they also have like really cool 50ps with the little like motorbikes on that could be worth quite a lot and I have none in my collection which sucks but I thought this is a really cool top to pick up it's just black but has that bright green writing on it which just like really stands out next still going we have a super dry top now i'm pretty sure this was part of the super dry top bundle but as you can see the logo is kind of cracked there so i don't know what's going to be done with that one this is probably one of my favorite finds lately this is a tommy hilfiger rugby top would you say i would say rugby top because it's striped it's got padded elbows and then it also has the number eight on the back so to me this screams rugby top it also has you know like the obligatory tommy hilfiger logo but this is like a really nice piece i think bobby actually wants to keep this like he does with all the really nice stuff that we end up finding so this is just a normal elise grey t-shirt with the logo. A lot of people rip into me with how I pronounce Elise. It's either Elise or Alese as some people say. But you know, I say Elise. If it's wrong, you know, tell me. But I'm not going to change the way I say it. I think, again, Bobby wants this t-shirt as well. It's very, very common for him to try and claim everything. Like these shorts. So these are Ralph Lauren polo shorts. Very nice. We couldn't figure out if they were just like beach shorts or if you could go swimming in them. It's got a really cute pattern on them. Got a pocket on the back, pockets to the side, pocket on the front with the little logo on it, and these were really cheap as well. And now we're nearing the last few items, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I promise you, I am uploading again quite regularly. We've got a Pound and Beauty Bargains video coming. I'm going to be doing my coin collection video, and then from after that, weekly coin updates from what I'm going to be getting. Obviously going to be keeping up with the car boot and charity shop hauls and probably some more like makeup related videos if and when I get the time. I've been thinking about doing a lot of gaming videos on here lately, maybe getting some of my Twitch highlights and stuff like that. So if that's something you want to see, just let me know because, you know, I'll do it just like that. But we have three items left. This is a Tommy Hilfiger, I would say polo top again but it's just striped, you've got the logo on there. I don't know what it is with the really bright colours, they always seem to end up in charity shops. We tend to find more bright coloured clothes than we do dark and simple clothes, I think that's obviously because more people tend to keep hold of the plain looking ones and don't go out wearing these, which I think is a shame, more people need the bright colours, you know? So this one was a pound and I got it from the same place I got this top. And I'm really confused about it. So it says it's from Springfield, but then on the front, it's just very plain, classic, original leisure wear. And it says natural on the top. So it's nat natural, classic, original leisure wear. It's a very, very big top. This would drown me entirely. But it looks like it's going to be so comfy. So I just grabbed that because, you know, you could wear it to bed or if you're an oversized addict like me. <laughs> You could probably find a really cute way to style that. And now for the last item of the entire video. Ta -da! It's just a Adidas t-shirt. Don't get your hopes up for anything super special, guys. I'm pretty sure this is women's. But I'm not sure. Do you know what I mean? Like, it feels like a women's top. It's small enough to be a women's top. But it could just be a men's small. I'm tempted to wear it. It's very cute. It just has this, like, white and gold design on it. Adidas logo. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, because it's a very long one, and if you did stick around to the end, I really appreciate it, and I'm sorry 
for my lack of uploads, but I promise you there's been a lot going on. We've been focusing a lot on the Depop shop, which is where most of this stuff is going to end up, so I'll put that in the description of the video so you can find that. We've got a lot of stuff on there from an old vintage Wayne Pay, which I really wanted to do a video on, but just didn't have the time. There's going to be another one of those in October, so I'm going to try and go to that and record that one for you guys. But yeah, I'm back. It's going to be great, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.